It's a comedy show with a twist. Astro Babe is a comedy show that gives you a chance to guess comics, zodiac signs. I love it. Based on their performance. <laughs> Gets to know the signs a little better as you learn about what makes a Leo so bold Ooh. or what makes a Pisces so emotional. Mm. All while you're having a good laugh. Amira Sanders joins us with more. Thanks for being here. Hi, thanks for having me. Yeah, okay, so you've been doing stand-up for about eight years. How did you get into the astrology side of it? I've always been interested in astrology since I was little. Um, I like taking little personality quizzes online and stuff like that. And like the more I learned about it, the more I felt I learned about myself. And so I was able to like go deep into it. And like people usually confuse me in general. So like looking at <laughs> astrology can make people like, oh, you're like that because you're a Virgo. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Got it. Yeah. I love that. By the way, we are feeling your outfit. This is yeah. incredible. It totally very on point. Yes. Yeah, it goes <laughs> along with Astro Babe. But here's the thing: for this comedy show, you don't have to be, uh, you know, really good at astrology. You can be a total novice, right? Yeah, absolutely. So this is everyone's welcome. Everyone's welcome. Uh, if you only know one sign and you want to say it for every single comedian, <laughs> great. <laughs> Like that's, Capricorn, exactly. you, you Capricorn. might be right. You might be right. Yeah, you know, right. like there's a chance. It is a chance. Um, but like I do ask the audience, like why? So like you can just be like, oh, that's the only sign I know, or gut feeling. Oh. But I do like to know the thought process behind like why they mm. chose a certain sign because I love mess and <laughs> it's like my favorite answer was when someone was like, oh, I think this comic is an Aquarius because they remind me of my ex and my ex sucked. Oh. Oh. And she was right. Oh. <laughs> and I, was like, I feel like that's a whole other part of the comedy show, like the in-between <laughs> yes. and the guessing. Yeah. And yeah. We're, we're getting to know each other. We're having a kiki. We're like having a good time, <laughs> you know? And it's like we're just kind of... You know, being, we could be wrong, but have a good time, and you know, it's yes. like great, yeah. Okay, but Amira, Sarah and I need to know, what do we win? Do we win anything if we guess it right? <laughs> yeah, I have, I brought some little Astro Babe pins, like this one oh, I have cute. right here. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Adorable. Everybody's a winner just for participating, yes, that's Jean. true, that's true. No. <laughs> and, and like, give us a breakdown. You say there's multiple, everyone's a certain multiple signs, like there's a sun, there's a moon, there's yeah. a moon rising, there's a sun falling. Oh. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I get it. Sun I'm setting. already lost. I don't know. Okay, so I'm like, really into astrology. Oh, like, right. I paid 30 bucks for an astrology app. So, uh, that's, that's... $30 a month? Or it's no, oh. one time purchase. Oh, okay, got you. <laughs> but, okay. like, who, who... Like, how into it are you? Yeah, no, no, no. I'm not that loaded. Um, you know, I, I read birth charts. Okay. Um, and I like to say, like, you know, twins, they would have the same birth chart, right? Yeah. But everyone's different, and they express the energy in their chart in different ways. So there's like a sun sign, moon, rising, um, Mercury, Mars, like basically all the planets have a sign. And the larger ones like Uranus and Neptune and Pluto and Saturn, well not really Saturn, they're like um, a gener they're called generational planets. So they take a long time to go around the sun. Oh. So those You're signs, acting like you understand. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Am I getting to, am I getting to it? Like, yeah, that's, no, but yeah. I find it fascinating because there's so many people that are super into it. And what I love about this is you say that women are taught to question our intuition. Some turn to astrology and tarot to tell them what they already know. So it is kind of a cool way to just get that confirmation of something that you yeah. believe or think. Yeah, people always ask me, like, do you really believe in astrology? Yeah. And I'm like, astrology is like any belief system. It's as real as you make it. Okay. And, like, I... Yeah. Like, it's just like, I, I already know the answer to what I should be doing in my life, but it's nice to look at the stars and be like, okay, yeah, there it is. Like, just a like, little, double check that. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, a little confirmation. Yeah. A little, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Okay, yeah. so Sarah's a Pisces, I'm a Taurus. We're, we're a good pair, right? Yeah. It's, it's, the signs are compatible. compatible. <laughs> signs are very compatible. We I, I never say that two signs are not compatible. Oh. It's always, like, there's so many nuances to astrology gotcha. that saying that it's just kind of like... Well. We here, we yeah. have great chemistry. So. <laughs> Obviously, it's going great. Pisces. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. People Thank you. love us, Amira. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Amira. You can catch Astro Babe at the Lincoln Lodge Saturday, July 27th. You can find tickets on eventbrite.com or find Astro Babe and Amira on Instagram.